Okay, I am so excited to be able to share this process with you and I know you're gonna love it. Um, so to start out with, I'm using a half of a teaspoon of pigment and I think I'm going to choose violet ochre. It's this really beautiful, rich, earthy purple color. Um, and when you're painting in oils, you really don't need a lot of paint from each one. So even just this half teaspoon is going to make a lot of paint for you. So I simply just put it on my palette. I'm just using a marble tile. Um, and that works really well for me. From there, I put a well in the center of the pigment for my binder, which I am using walnut oil. And I just pour in about equal parts of oil to pigment in the center of the well. You can always modify this. This is a very intuitive process as each pigment has its own mass and its own density. The absorption rate of each pigment is different um, depending on the mineral. And so you can always just adjust this as you need. Now I just mix this with a, with a palette knife. Natural earth pigments come ground very finely. So honestly, when I'm painting in oils, I only do these two steps and that's it. You just want to make sure it's evenly incorporated and the viscosity level is to your liking. Depends on how thick or thin you like to work. But honestly, that's it. It's paint right there, that's it. However, if you'd like to incorporate your paint even more, or if you have a grittier, um, if you have a grittier pigment, then you'll want to use a molar. And when you're working with a molar, you want to work very slowly and you just want to circle around in figure eights and circles and make it nice and smooth and luxuriously beautiful. And I will tell you the only smell to this is the walnut oil. And it smells like an old, beautiful artist studio. Simply just pull that up, look at how beautiful that is. And you scrape this off. And now you can put your paint in tubes or you can just um, organize it nicely on your palette. It's a very simple, beautiful process, one that I have really loved incorporating into my work. So thank you so much for letting me share it with you.